Miller. Recording uh, started. Currently, I believe the filing states that there is a ch- one charge of government, uh, vandalism of government property, and one charge of felony evasion. And then I believe through pretrial, we have uh, the defense stated that they were going to drop the felony evasion. Is that still the case, Ms. Grant? Uh, the prosecution, yes, Your Honor, we're dropping the felony evasion. Okay, thank you. All right, so the court is only going to consider the uh, the charge of vandalism of government property for case 160. Um, give me just a moment to make sure the record is set. Right. All right, I apologize. Um okay, Mr. Cranton. Uh actually real quick, uh Mr. Miller, I don't believe we had an arraignment for you just yet, so I wanted to go on and get your plea for the one count of vandalism of government property. How would you plead? Not guilty. All right. So we will proceed with the trial at hand. Uh, Mr. Cran, if you would, your opening statements. Yes, Yana. Yana, people of the court, citizens of Los Santos, thank you for giving me your time today for us to go through this case. Uh, this case is going to be pretty simple, straight cut and forward, uh, simple vandalism case of government property. Today, the state is going to prove that Mr. Miller actively and knowingly attempted to uh, kick and cause damage to uh, Ranger Kubo's vehicle. And that is all, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Gambini, any opening statement for you, sir? Your Honor, today the defense will prove that the damages that were done to Ranger Kubo's vehicle was not done by my client but other entities at that time. And that the ranger in question uh, had targeted my client and harassed him and then arrested him and put him in jail while while others were damaging his vehicle. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Gambini. All right. Um, well, we'll let the prosecution uh, go on and present their evidence. Mr. Cranton. Thank you, Anna. Uh, the prosecution would like the motion to put into evidence the incident report of the uh, arrest. All right. Um, any objection for the defense? I can't hear you, Mr. Gambini, if you have an objection. No objections, Your Honor. Okay, perfect. Uh, so in whole, uh, we will submit to evidence... Uh, the court will submit to evidence the police report, including the uh, mentions of the medical report, the confiscated items section, and uh, lethal force method of identification, and uh, affirmations on GSR and Miranda warnings. Uh, uh, so, yes, sir. Oh, Oh, yeah, I'd also like the motion to have the uh, fingerprint result of Mr. Miller entered into evidence as well. Fingerprint result. Okay. Exhibit three. Any objection for the the photo evidence that's also in the file? There wasn't any in pretrial, Mr. Gambini, so I don't imagine there's anything now. Okay. Uh, perfect. All right. So, so entered into evidence. Thank you very much, Yana. And the uh, prosecution would like to call our first and only witness, uh, Ranger Kubo Okado. All right, Mr. Kubo Okada, come on up here. Uh, Mr. B- uh, Bailiff Boyle is going to swear you in. Sir, do you tell uh, Yana, before uh, the swearing, could I ask that you reaffirm the uh, decorum within the courtroom by asking individuals to make sure they're wearing clothing and not try to come up here? Oh, well, there's absolutely no approaching 
this bench, but um, at the same time, yeah, uh, like please, style, please keep the conversations down and to a whisper in the gallery, and be respectful of the the person on the in the defense of this trial, because I imagine if you were in the same spot, you would want that respect given to you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. All right. You are uh, so warned. All right, let's swear, Mister Cope. Sir, do you, do you tell us, do you swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth? I do. All right. Good witness, Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Anna. Uh, Mr. Okado, can you please go ahead and give your name, rank, and badge number for the uh, court today? My name is Kubo Okada, badge number 433, and I'm a corporal in the San Andreas State Parks. Thank you, Mr. Okado. And uh, do you remember the incident that occurred on the day in question? I do. Okay. Can you go ahead and go over uh, that incident for me, please? So I was doing parking and traffic enforcement at Alta Apartments. I noticed a lady on a motorcycle that was on the sidewalk. So I approached her and asked her to move her motorcycle off to side of the road so it was legally parked uh and she did comply uh so while there i was also talking with a another group of people mr miller who was wearing a red hoodie at the time he approached me uh i guess he was he saw i was there and was listening into our conversation uh, i think he was throwing some taunts at me uh, Let's and just then, uh, stick with the facts, Mr. Okado, okay? I, yeah, so he then walked over to my Chevy Ranger Caprice, which was parked right uh, in front of Alta. And while I was looking at him, he kicked in the driver's side door. And subsequently, the front right tire deflated. And there was a big dent left in the door of my car. Okay, thank you, Mr. Okado. And uh, did you attempt to arrest Mr. Miller? Yeah, so at that point, I went over to him and told him to put his hands behind his back and that he was under arrest. And what occurred after that? So at this point, uh, Mr. Miller refused to comply. He wouldn't let me cuff him, and he started... You know, running around Alta and just not not complying, you know. Okay, were you able to get him into cuffs? Yeah, so after several minutes, uh, Officer Tyreek Delmar uh, joined the scene, and he was able to tase and cuff Mr. Miller. Okay, did you transport him and uh, get him processed at LSPD? Yeah, so first we brought him to Mount Zona for medical treatment with Nancy. And then we brought him to LSPD, got him fingerprinted, and in the cells for booking. Okay. And did, who did the fingerprint come back to? It came back to Mason Miller. Okay, and is that same Mason Miller the one sitting with the defense today? Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Officer Kubo. I have no more questions, Yana. All right. Thank you, Mr. Cranton. Uh, Mr. Gambini, your cross. Officer Ranger Kubo, on said day when you uh, rolled up, as you say in your statement, you saw someone on a bike, uh, a lady on a bike. Uh, sorry, are you shouting? I can't hear that well. If you could speak up a little bit, it's hard to hard to hear you, Mister Gambini. So, Ranger Kubo, when. I can't hear him. It's fine. Yeah, we'll no, give, we're going to give you a minute. We have, we, have, we have people in the back. Sure, no. We'll give you a minute to get situated, and then we'll, we'll let you proceed. Great, Jakubo. You and your statement said you drove up to Alta and found one singular bike. Is that correct? I yeah. Remember the, you're, I remember you're under oath. At the front of Alta, yeah. 
Now, were there any other motorcycles in the area? Objection, uh, your relevance. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it, but let's get through the line of questioning very fast. So, Mr. Gambini, I know you like to to go in weird directions, so we're gonna see where this goes, but only for a few more questions, and then okay, I'm gonna allow is, Mr. Cran to my knowledge. To my knowledge, that there were multiple motorcycles in the area and uh officer kubo objection to the yeah that's test yeah that's testimony man uh, okay. just again ask your questions i'm going to give you two more questions on this line of questioning to get where you want to go with it were there any other people in the area damaging your vehicle the only person i saw damaging my vehicle was mr miller There were no other motorcycles in the area. Objection, Leon. No, asked no, an answer. Hold on. I'm giving him his second question. But again, are you going to rephrase your question? Because if you're just asking the same question, it's a nasty answer. Was your vehicle only damaged by my client? I believe so, yes. At that scene. All right, and remember you're under oath. All right, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, that's all right. Let's give it. No problem. That's it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. You may step down, Mr. Cotta. All right, you, uh, Mr. Grant, you had said that was your only witness. So, uh, do you have any other evidence to present? No, Your Honor. Okay. Uh. All right, Mr. Gambini, you're up. Your Honor, the defense will call Alice to the stand, Alice Watson. All right. Ms. Watson can make her way to the stand. And please, yeah, please help yes help her get through perfect thank you thank you gentlemen uh yes miss watson you could please approach the approach the witness stand here and uh the officer boy would swear you in ma'am do you swear to tell the truth nothing but the truth I do. All right, go ahead and be seated. Okay. You may not be able um, to sit. Uh, yeah, it's a little tricky, uh, but uh, if you just want to stand there, that is okay, too. I'll just stand. That's fine. Okay. fine. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Same. Okay, Miss Watson. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, we're going to go back and think about this the day of this incident where mr uh ranger kubo harassed mr miller in front of alter apartments now if you could tell the court exactly what was happening that day um so basically i came out of my apartment and kubo was out there already along with um, a couple other people i'm not sure their names and then Mason Miller was there. Um, so you said other people were there. Yeah, yeah. There was like three other people, I believe. I, I know one is Selena. I don't know the name of the other two. Okay, you don't know the name of the other two. Now, what were the, if 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 your memory serves you, what were the other two individuals doing at this moment? Um, I remember seeing one on a bike and a ramping. Kubo's Ranger vehicle. So, um, so you're saying, so you're Objection, saying, your honor, relevance. This case isn't about other individuals. It's about Mr. Miller striking. Right, Kubo's but vehicle. it's well, it's about vandalism. Yes. So, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna you're, see this through. Continue. So you saw an individual ramming 
Officer Kubo's vehicle, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Objection, Your Honor, leading. Yeah, rephrase your question, please. So the individual that you saw, what were they what were they doing? What were their actions? Um, I just saw one ramping the vehicle with a bike. Did you say ramping? Yeah, ramping. Not ramming. Yeah, like, ramming and ramping. Mixture of both. A mixture. Yeah. All right, continue. Now, in this whole time, did Officer Kubo have the attention of these gentlemen or leave Mr. Mace, uh, Mr. Miller alone to deal with the, with that specific incident? As I recall, no. Uh, yeah, Anna, can I ask the defense to rephrase the question slightly? It was rather confusing to understand what he's actually asking. Sure. Let's let's ask it another way there, Mr. Gamby. Get a free asked and answered. Okay. During Mr. Kub Officer Kubo's interaction with my client, Mr. Miller, was he aware of the de of the damages being done to his patrol vehicle? Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. She wouldn't be able to know whether Mr. Kubo was aware of something or not. I would agree. Uh, let's proceed to another question, Mr. Gambini. Ms. Watson, would you say that the vehicle being rammed and ramped was audible and visually seen by everyone there? Objection again, Your Honor. Speculation. She wouldn't be able to know if everybody saw or heard it. That's true. Let's, let's keep it to questions that uh, Ms. Watson can answer, please. Ms. Watson, did you see my client? You, your personal, your personal vision saw my client go and vandalize Mr. Kubo's vehicle. Um, I did not know. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. No further questions for my witness. All right. Uh, Cross-examine from Mr. Cranton. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thank you for coming into the court for uh, being a witness today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Uh, my first question for you is, where were you at the time of the uh, event? Were you facing towards the vehicle? Were you facing away from it? Um, I was coming out of my apartment. Okay, and... so did... Oh, sorry, continue. No, you're fine. Um, I personally didn't see Mason do anything. Like I had said previously, uh, it was just quarter. those other people. Okay. Uh, were you hold, watching hold, the vehicle I'm so, I apologize, time? Mr. Cran. Give me just a moment. Hey, sir, you need to keep that uh, your conversations down. You oh, need I'm to... Sorry. sorry, he's talking to me. Hello? You need to you need to keep your conversations down to a witness a whisper and you oh, need no, to no. you need to take it out of the courtroom if you're not here to watch the proceedings i'm here to testify for a mag double all right you're gonna have to leave this courtroom or i'm gonna have to remove you myself oh, you want me to leave, uh, I can leave. Uh -huh. appreciate it thank you so much right. i apologize miss grant miss watson proceed okay miss watson did, did you have eyes on mr miller at all times during the incident I did not know. You did not. So during the time that you didn't have eyes on him, would it be possible that he could have kicked the vehicle? Um, I mean, it could have been possible, but I don't see it really happening. And why is that? It seems kind of out of character. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, uh, to go off of character, I would like to be able to enter into court Mr. Miller's uh, criminal history. Uh... No, not this time. I understood, Your Honor. Okay, but you did not see Mr. Miller at all times, which means that he could have possibly kicked the vehicle, correct? I mean, it could have been possible, yeah. Okay. And uh, did you hear Mr. Ranger Kubo's uh, testimony? Yeah. Okay, did you hear Mr. Kubo's testimony about the fact that he witnessed Mr. Miller kick the vehicle? Yes, I heard that. 
Okay, so can you 100% uh, prove that Mr. Miller did Judge not kick that vehicle as testified? Speculation. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not asking for speculation, Your Honor. I'm asking if she can 100% confirm whether or not Mr. Kubo's testimony is not true. Objection. The whole testimony? No, that's not that's not fair for her to answer. I understood. Is there a specific I, I part of the testimony? Yes. Uh, the part that he witnessed Mr. Miller kick the vehicle. Okay, so the question to you, uh, Ms. Watson, is did you see Mr. Kubo witness Mr. Miller Your Honor, kick the Honor. vehicle? Is that my I understanding? I can the question if it would help. Okay, please do. Okay. Uh, Ms. Watson, is that correct? Your last name is Watson, correct? Yes. Sorry. Okay, I just didn't want to get it wrong. Uh, can you 100% say that Mr. Kubo was not telling the truth when uh, he said that Mr. Miller kicked his vehicle? I mean, I... I mean, that's, that's again, you're, you're asking her to know if he was telling the truth? Well, I'm asking if she can... She's stating that she did not see Mr. Miller kick the vehicle, which means she's trying to discount my witness's testimony, Your Honor. So I'm she trying said, to ask her hold, if she can hold on, that Mr. hold on. Her statement was she did not hold on. She said her statement was that she did not see Mr. Miller kick the vehicle. That's her yes, Yana, testimony. I mean, That's not discounting this. Mr. Kubo's testimony at all. I don't understand where you're going with it. I, I mean, she herself didn't see Mr. Miller kick the car. That's the understanding of this court. Is that yes, your understanding Yana, as well? I'm trying okay. to attest to the fact that this does not discount. Officer's testimony. Well, so noted. It doesn't. I mean, All right, thank you. That's her testimony and it's his testimony. They're two different things. All, All right, right Ms. Watson, I have no question or further questions. Okay. All right. I appreciate you, Mrs. Watson. Please, uh, uh, you can step down and uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, thank you. Okay, Mr. Gambini. Your Honor, this officer told me to come right here. The yeah. defense would love to call their next you know witness. No, which officer I listen to? The Miss Selena to the stand. My understanding is, or the court's understanding, it is Miss Selena Carmen, correct? Yes, Miss yeah. Selena Carmen. Okay. Uh, would Miss Selena Carmen please make her way to the stand? Hello, Miss Carmen. Hi. Mr. Boy will take your, uh, will swear you in. Sorry about that. Sorry, ma'am. Do you swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth? Yes. You can go ahead and sit down if it's possible for you to sit down. All right. Mr. Gambini, he's your witness. How are you doing, Miss Selena? Doing okay. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So we're back here uh, with this event. So if you can uh, enlighten us here in the courtroom today, uh, can you retell, let's, let's, let's start, you're at Ulta. You're getting a little close. Thank you. You're, you're at Ulta apartment. What, what did you see at the Ulta apartments and was Mr. Miller with you? I was at Ulta apartments with Mr. Miller and to others getting in a circle. I was the one on the motorcycle that Kubo came to come and tell me to get off the sidewalk. So I did that. Uh, and then I remember us moving off the sidewalk and somehow we all like congregated around Kubo's car, the Ranger car. Uh, and you had two others like ramming the back of his vehicle and then a passenger like jumped in the the seat, the driver's seat of his car. And we're all standing around. And then I 
We don't need to retell the whole story. Maybe we'll ask some questions here. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I would like for her to continue to answer the question. And do you have more information to tell? Please do. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to retell the whole thing, um, you can uh, start back up start from over. when. No, no. no. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it. What we'll do is uh, you're gonna we'll ask a little bit more uh, specific questions, and then on your cross examine, uh, we'll leave it open for you, Mr. Cranton, to to go further into that line of questioning if you want. Understood. Um, I appreciate it. But that way, you know, doesn't we're not confused and having to retell the story over again. Um, Okay, let's proceed. All right. So the best of your knowledge, did you, you're able to tell if someone's angry or frustrated, correct? I would hope so. Uh, and your honor, she's not an expert when it comes to psychologically evaluating individuals' mental states. All right. Um, yeah, let, Mr. Gambini. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep it to questions that Ms. Uh, Carmen can answer, please. All right. So let's go to the people ramming the vehicle. So what did, what did you witness with the people ramming and, as Alice said, ramping the vehicle? How, severe, how severely damaged was the vehicle? Well, it was still operational, but I would say that he definitely made some damage. It wasn't like just a tap. He was trying to get that motorcycle on top of the car. So kind of what drew our attention to walk over towards the, like, the ranger car in the first place. Okay, so the vehicle was damaged in, in yes. the incident by other people. Yes. Now, do you believe objection to that line of question? Yeah, relevance. Was... <laughs> relevance? Okay, yes, you weren't gonna you were gonna hit that leading. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'd rather just um, hit it with the relevance first because now, uh, I mean, it's it's pretty relevant. It's you. it's pretty relevant, but I would have gone with the leading. The case, but it's just whether or not Miss kicked. Did the you want to? In in fairness, did you want to object to that leading question? I can uh, object to the leading as well, Yana. Okay, I ask the question again a little bit. With a little bit uh, more open, please. Let. With the vehicle being damaged, would you be able to tell? whether more damage has been done to it from the damage that the other individuals that were there have done? Can you rephrase that? Objection, yeah, yeah, I don't even know what to object to that. But that was all <laughs> I mean, I get, I get what you're trying to say, um, but again, you know, Miss, Miss Carmen isn't, you know, a you could probably would be easier to ask what she saw because she's an eyewitness. So maybe we can find out, you know, Selena, what she, Selena, specifically she saw. Miss Selena, what was, what did you see with, between the interaction with Mr. Kubo and, and Mr. Miller at the time at Alter Apartments? Beginning after all of the ramming, I, I saw Mason Miller kick his car and it was once i cannot say why he kicked the car or getting on to any of that but in the moment it seemed like there were other pressing issues that should have been handled first like his ignition being lock picked and it's Objection, like cause his car was taken as this the case car isn't was about being the other kicked. issues i will i'll allow i agree with that one so uh we're gonna go on and sustain it um, uh, but also, Ms. Carmen, yeah, uh, just you don't have to, you're, you're not supposed to got, got it. Uh, offer up additional in information. Just answer the questions that are asked of you. It's, it's not too hard. All right, Mr. Gambini, do you have any other questions? Did you see any other damage, 
damage to Kubo's car for, uh, further than my client, other than my client's damage? Uh, well, yeah, the relevant for the case. No, that one's that one's that one's straight. I'll allow it. Uh, answer the question. Uh, did you see? Uh, the oh, damage I mean, damage. yo, yes, you've yes, asked the, the question. Yeah. The, okay, so you damage from the motorcycle. Got it. All right. Any other questions, Mr. Gambino? No. There's no okay. other questions, sir. All right. Uh, we're going to allow Mr. Cranton to cross examine. And uh, again, if you needed uh, to go into any of the questioning for what happened uh, at the situation before the incident, you can. Understood, John. I, I, I have one question at this time. Ms. Lena, you said that you witnessed. You're breaking up Mr. just Miller. a little bit. Sorry. You're breaking up just a little bit. It's trying all over you. Better, Yana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it again. Okay. Ms. Lena, you stated that you witnessed Mr. Miller kick uh, Ranger Kubo's vehicle, correct? Yes. Okay. That is all you're done. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Carmen. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, any other evidence uh, for from the defense to present or argument to make? I mean, I will... I mean, I, I can... Uh, we'll call Mr. Miller up to the stand. Okay. Uh, all right, Mr. Miller, go on and stand on... Get on the stand, and then uh, Mr. Boy will... Uh, Get your uh, where are you in there? Sir, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? I do. All right, you can go ahead and sit down if you can. I'll just stand. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> All right, Mr. Miller. If you can enlighten me and the court on the events of what happened at Alta Street Apartments when you walked out of your apartment? Um, I walked out and Selena was already out on the motorcycle. So I went and stood over there waiting for Alice to come out. And shortly after that's when Kubo pulled up and parked his car like in the entryway of Alta parking lot. And he instantly came over to us and started talking about illegal parking with the bike and all the other cars there. And shortly after that, people started crashing into his car with the motorcycle and standing around his car. And he pretty much ignored them to keep talking to us about parking. And then after that, I walked over to his car, jumped on top of it, and yelled at him that nobody wanted him here. And that's when he proceeded to try to arrest me for allegedly kicking his car. Now, uh, how many interactions have you had with uh, Ranger Kubo? Several of them. Yeah, we're not going into we're we're not going to dig into your past, son. We're not going to dig into the past relationship with you and Mr. Kubo. We're here to talk about the uh, the offense and the vandalism at question. So, ask another question, Ms. Gambini. So you said that there were others there doing damage to the vehicle, correct? Yes. Now, with you climbing on the car, as uh, Ms. Selena said, you, you allegedly kicked the car. Would you be able to differentiate that from all the other damages that were done? Absolutely not. It's 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 my it's my job to tr to try to paint this this picture. Objection, Yana. It's yeah. not his job yeah. to paint a picture. It's his job to bring. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, despite that, it's um, Mr. Gamby. Don't care if you're not testifying. Let's just uh, we'll be respectful yeah, yeah, of yeah. Mr. Miller's time, and we'll ask him the questions we need to get the truth.
Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. Okay. Ms. Cranton, you'll cross. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Miller, did you kick? Oh, well, breaking up again. You may want to uh, give it a minute or something. All right. Is that better, Your Honor? It's still kind of cutty, but give it a shot. All right. Mr. Miller, did you kick Ranger Kubo's vehicle? I did not. You did do you understand that I have two different individuals, one of which was a witness for your case, stating that you did kick the vehicle, and that oh they saw me climb on top of it, but what they saw and what I did doesn't necessarily yeah, match up. What's your objection? It's the uh, same objection they had would be that they, he can't tell what they saw. I'm not asking what they saw. I simply asked him if he kicked the vehicle. Um. Okay, and asked and answered. So, let's move on. You're stating that you climbed on top of the vehicle, correct? Yes. Mr. Miller? Did you cause any damage when you climbed on top of the vehicle? I could not tell, because there was already damage to the vehicle. So, Mr. Miller? I have no further questions, Your Honor. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Mr. Miller. You may step down. Um, and Mr. Gambini, did you have uh, any other witnesses to call? Any other no, expulsory evidence? Okay. All right. So you're arresting your case, is my understanding? Uh, yep. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to put forth motions. Uh, what motion are you wanting to put forth? motion would be to add a charge of resisting arrest as proven through the testimony of Ranger Kubo, and the second would be adding a charge of perjury as given through the testimony of Ranger Kubo and Miss Coleman. I mean, we haven't necessarily decided what the truth necessarily is at this point. We're trying to find out who's credible and who's not. Um, but a perjury charge you could bring up after if we get more evidence to prove otherwise but at this point it's just, it's he said she said it you know on that side so we're not ready to f move forward with a uh, perjury um and you wanted to do a resisting arrest is that my understanding yes, yeah. hold on just a moment resisting a precedent in the case of will be George Fernandez that states that prosecutor can bring forward additional charges if yeah, giving testimony that's, or... That's or, fine. Or, you can bring forth additional charges, but, I mean, so we, what are you citing for the wording of any person who actively resists lawful detainment and or arrest by a peace, police officer? Uh, the fact that during uh, 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 Ranger Kubo's testimony through the, the report that was not contested by the defense that Mr. Miller fled from uh, Mr. Kubo when he tried to arrest him and actively fought against him while putting on the cuffs. All right. Hold on, let me you ran in circles. I would still be resisting, right. Your Honor. Right. It doesn't matter if it's circles or squares. Just read the report. Give me a sec. All right. I mean, doing this now, we're going to have to open up. Uh, I mean, Mr. Gambi, do you have any objections to this at this point uh, to apply another charge of resisting arrest? Is there I mean, anything I, that you, as far as on the defense side? I mean, Your Honor, it, it's this case is, is, I mean, Officer Kubuk purged himself. We have, we have. We're not talking about perjury. I'm talking about this resisting arrest charge, where in the in the report it just it states, and Mr. Kubo's testimony did affirm that uh, your client resisted arrest. Technically, I mean, from that statement. So the DA is applying another an additional charge of resisting arrest to your client. So. Again, do you want to object? 
hijacked because. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, it you know with the with the testimony in place, those charges are going to be uh, we're going to be, carry those through. Um, now I'll have to get your the plea from Mr. Miller on those charges. So for the charge of resisting arrest, Mr. Miller, uh, Mr. Gambini, you may consult with your client um, for this. But before we move any further, I do need to know how your client would plea on those charges. Not guilty. Not guilty? Okay. All right. Okay. Any other motions, Mr. Cranton? Uh, you might cut out. Did you say no? Nope? No, Your Honor. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, give me just a minute uh, to deliberate, and we'll figure this out here. Actually, so we have the felony evasion on this case, correct? Uh, uh, no, Your Honor, I dropped that charge. We case. dropped that charge, but now we're pushing the resisting arrest. But he was already sent to prison and fined for the felony evasion, in my, my understanding. Understood, Your Honor. Yes. All right. And uh, Mr. Gambini, can you confirm that your client was charged uh, $3,250 and spent 35 months in prison? Is that my understanding? Yes, Your Honor. He spent that and uh, served that. Understood. All right. Give me a few more minutes to just get the paperwork all set up and we will get a we'll carry on here. Uh
All right. So here's uh, what we're looking at, Mr. Miller. With the uh, the resisting arrest, it's in the report, it's in the testimony, it's a misdemeanor charge, but again, it is uh, a charge nonetheless. Um, the court's going to find you guilty for the resisting arrest. Um, as far as the vandal vandalism of government property, it is set as a misdemeanor, or I'm sorry, a felony. So with this, you are find the $3,250 and with the 35-month jail sentence. Um, however, your conduct does not, from to me or to this court, seem felonious in nature. The amount of damage was not tabulated by the state is to uh, apply any sort of monetary damage to equate to a felony. Um, and I imagine that the government gets quite a discount on its repairs so i doubt that you know the cost of repairs for the damage that was done especially from the testimony i get is done you know most of the damage apparently was done from other places so the kicking and everything um although the court does find you uh guilty for kicking the the government property and yes at that i would imagine would sound like um Uh, sound like vandalism. Uh, however, uh, let's see. The, there's one codifier there that says damage. And I guess your efforts in that sense and your intent to actually do damage to the vehicle uh, will find you guilty of that as well. However, I don't think, again, it doesn't meet the level of felonious activity. So what I'm going to do is we're going to recompensate you although you would probably have been fined if it was a misdemeanor you wouldn't have done the jail time so we're going to grant restitution for the jail time in lieu uh so that'll come to be thirty two hundred dollars um that you should be awarded there mr miller for the uh for your restitution um with that that is the verdict and that concludes the matter before this court. Thank you for everyone in attendance. And I appreciate everyone's patience and civility. You guys are amazing. Thank you.